Welcome to the Parent Connections Workshop Series. Tonight's presentation is titled, Supporting Your Student During Virtual Learning. My name is Luke Thompson. I work as the coordinator for the Connect Trenton program at Trenton's Ninth Grade Academy. But tonight I'm gonna to be sharing resources and information for parents of all students in Trenton Public Schools. So today's agenda, I'm going to share some updates from the district. We're going to share some school and public resources that can be helpful for students and parents. We'll discuss how to receive these services, who to get in contact with and when you should get in contact with them. And then I'll share some information about the district's Everyday Matters campaign to support student attendance. So here are some updates. Starting this past Monday, October 5th, Trenton Public Schools uh, pivoted to a new daily unified schedule. As you can see here, all levels of the school district from elementary through high school now begin their school day at eight o'clock every morning. And active instruction ends around 12.15, followed by lunch. After that, students are encouraged to work on their classwork or homework, and select students are scheduled for individual and small group meetings as discussed with their teacher or other staff at their school. Sometimes people ask about uh, the status of Trenton Public Schools and its reopening plans for uh, due to the coronavirus epidemic. Um, right now, Trenton Public Schools is still operating full virtual. You can find the Trenton Public Schools comprehensive restart and reopening plan on the district website at trentonk12.org. And of course, last month you might have heard about the hashtag Mask Up Trenton video contest. The winners were announced and the video and the winners can be seen on the district website as well. So let's talk about school and public resources. This section is named Connect to Success and I chose the gear icon because just like gears work together to support the operation of a machine, parents, staff, and students need to work together to promote student success. Every school in the district has resources. At the elementary and middle school levels, uh, there are parent liaisons. And at all levels, there are school counselors and school supports, including staff and administrators that are there for your student, as well as many extracurricular clubs and activities, which are still operating despite the epidemic. At the high school level, Trenton Ninth Grade Academy, there's the Connect Trenton and the Trenton Health Team All Kids Thrive Program. And Trenton Central High School has many school-based youth services that are helpful for students and their families. Across the district, the departments of school support, special education, and early childhood are there to help you and answer any questions you may have about navigating the school district or accessing resources that can be helpful for you. A lot of this information can be found on the district's Parent Connect website at trentonk12.org. You can click the Parent Connect button or navigate to trentonk12.org slash connect.aspx. The reason I want to talk about community resources is because there are over 800 nonprofit organizations here in the city of Trenton alone that offer services to students and their families. Everything from childcare and parenting, to education support, to free and low cost goods, healthcare, mental health care, you name it, it exists. Many of these organizations already have relationships with the schools in the district. Make a phone call to your school, try to get in touch. The parent liaisons and many staff at the district can make direct referrals to many of these services. Of course, people ask about COVID-19 testing all the time. You can find COVID-19 testing through Trenton Health Team and also just by looking on your Google Maps or Apple Maps app and typing in coronavirus testing. It's a public health need for everyone to be aware of the coronavirus, symptoms, testing, and how to avoid catching the coronavirus. So please keep yourself informed. And of course, since we are doing virtual learning, young people are spending so much time on their screens, looking at phones, looking at their Chromebooks. So I wanna share some phone and computer apps for success, because while we wanna pay attention to what 
our young people are doing on their phones or computers, there are many helpful things online that can help them. I encourage parents and students to download the PowerSchool mobile app. There you can see student grades, assignments, and attendance. Parents, if you're interested in having the PowerSchool app, simply contact your school counselor and they can give you the login information, the registration information that you need. Please note that in order for the mobile application to work, you need to create an account on a desktop computer or a Chromebook. I encourage students to download the Google Classroom app, which work, acts as a portal for student learning. I also encourage people to install Google Meet and Zoom, both of which are video conferencing apps that classes use to meet every day. The Trenton Public Schools app has news and information from Trenton Public Schools pushed right to your device. And the WIM What I Need app is specific to local Trenton youth resources, and it gives many categories of help that are available for young people here in the city. Sometimes parents ask me, hey, I'm concerned about my young person's behavior, and there are actually apps that can help for that too. If your young person has trouble getting up in the morning, there are specific alarm clock apps that, can, that are really difficult to turn off that require math equations or taking a photo of something throughout the house. It can really force students to get out of bed. And of course, we all know the positive connection between physical fitness and mental health and learning. And that's why I encourage fitness apps like the Nike Run Club, which has free guided exercise routines to help your young person get physically fit as well. And of course, parents ask all the time about behaviors, about their children's moods. So I wanna share these two apps as well. Smiling Mind and Insight Timer both offer guided meditation and teach all about mindfulness, which can help if your young person is experiencing unwanted thoughts or feelings, impulses or behaviors that can be disruptive, or just have trouble identifying feelings or controlling their mood. And of course, the state of New Jersey just this past week actually launched the COVID Alert New Jersey app. And as part of a public health goal to flatten the curve, it's encouraged that everyone in the state of New Jersey install this app. It is voluntary, but it alerts you if you've been in close contact with another app user who has tested positive for COVID-19. So it's a really good idea to install it and check it out. So now that we know all about these services, how can we get in touch? How can we access them? I always encourage people to use their natural supports first because sometimes we find things that work just by talking to our loved ones, our friends, the people we know. It can help to ask around in the community for ideas. For people who are still learning English or are recent immigrants, I encourage organizations like Catholic Charities El Centro, which can help people navigate the social organizations and structures of community resources. And of course, the school's always available. Even though we're in virtual learning, you can find information on trentonk12.org, or you can call the district's number at 609-656-4900 to connect to one of your local schools. When should we ask for help? I always encourage young people and their families to ask for help outside of their natural resources in these three scenarios. The first is if the young person is experiencing uh, difficulty in learning, grades, attendance, or behavior, and what you're trying now doesn't seem to be working. I always encourage asking for help if, if you or your student feel stuck or unsure about something. And again, what you've been trying hasn't been helping. And we should always get help if we are in danger of being hurt and the school can be there to help as well. Sometimes parents ask me, how do I know what's going on in my student's life? Sometimes they don't wanna share these things with me. And I'm not here to tell anyone how to parent, but I do encourage parents to always check in on their students' grades, homework, and attendance, their social emotional health, just by asking basic open-ended questions like, how are you doing today? I noticed you're not, you don't seem to be feeling well. What's going on? 
their plans for after high school, and of course their online and phone activities. It can be so powerful to ask your student questions like, what would life look like if you were the student you want to be? What would you be doing differently? This can help you and the student identify new strategies, new habits, new behaviors that can help your young person be that student that they want to be. And it's never too early to start thinking about plans for after high school, which can be really motivating. And that's why every day matters. As you might know, the district has the Everyday Matters campaign. And this is because between the months of March and June, when the coronavirus epidemic first started and schools shifted very quickly to virtual learning, across the United States, four in 10 students never accessed online learning, never logged in at all. And throughout that time, they missed connecting with adults in the school. They missed connecting with other young people, their classmates. They missed a lot of these extracurricular activities and supports that help so much. All of us have experienced a shared trauma and young people especially need that help to feel a sense of normalcy, to feel a sense of stability. The state of New Jersey defines chronic absenteeism as just 10% of school days absent, which comes out to about two school days per month. After which, there are supports to help promote attendance. Families might be asked to uh, provide updated phone numbers so they can receive robocalls if their young person misses classes. They might be asked to meet with the school's attendance team to develop an attendance improvement plan. And these are all strengths-based activities. If those don't work, the family may be compelled to go to truancy court. And that's only in cases where the family is not really meeting those goals of improving attendance. So here are some benefits of attendance. This is a flyer from Attendance Works, and you can see that there are benefits from elementary school all the way past high school and into adulthood. And here's the flyer again, but in Spanish. One of the wonderful benefits of school and community partnerships such as Connect Trenton is it allows us to track what we're doing and see if what we're doing is effective. And the research that I've been doing as part of Connect Trenton actually supports what Attendance Works is proposing. I found that the students that I've seen who attend school every day see they earn better grades, they exhibit kinder behaviors, they have stronger self-esteem, and they feel better prepared for college or their career. And that's why every day matters. This is the slogan of Trenton Public Schools attendance campaign. I want to thank Parent Connect and the All Kids Thrive initiative of the Princeton Area Community Foundation for hosting this workshop. If you'd like to get in touch with me, if you have a student at Trenton's Ninth Grade Academy and you're interested in Connect Trenton's services, please do reach out. Thank you so much, and I look forward to working with you. Take care.